Melody, it's time for bed. I'm not tired. Can you read me a story? A story? Sure. What would you like me to read? Can you read Thanksgiving for me and my friends? Your friends? Yeah, my friends out there. Oh, hi. Would you like to hear a story too? Yes? Okay. Today we will be reading Thanksgiving by Ethan Long. Okay, let's get started. It was the fourth Thursday in November, and the monsters gathered for their annual Thanksgiving feast. Everyone chipped in. Virginia whipped up the sweet potato casserole. Sandy mixed the stuffing. Mumford made the cranberry sauce. Of course, Vladimir prepared the turkey. He knew how to cook it just right. Then out of nowhere, he heard a honk, honk, honk. Uncle Gus, Aunt Bessie, Joey, Smoey. What a pleasant surprise. Bloody. Voldemort loved seeing his family, even when they dropped in unexpectedly. It was a family reunion. Voldemort invited them inside. Everyone, this is my family. Family, this is everyone. Oh my, what is that interesting smell? Mashed potatoes and garlic. And Betsy whipped up another batch, this time with eyeballs and earwax. Uncle Gus inspected the turkey. Of course, he had his own method. Now that's how you cook a turkey. Joey and Smoey helped Fran make the pumpkin pie, but it turned out into lumpkin pie. They just love their maggot meatballs. And then there was Spike, who never met anything he did not want to swallow. Anything. Vladimir loved his family, but they were quickly making a monstrosity of a Thanksgiving feast. Baboon burps, yum. Snail spit makes everything taste good. It needs one more good zap. And they didn't stop there. The bean casserole had 10 sticks of boogie butter in it. The mashed potatoes had a strange look to them. And the biscuits were as hard as headstones. And the turkey. Let's just say that Uncle Gus cooked it to death. But because they were family, Voldemort was determined to make the best of it. Okay, everyone, gather around. It's morning already? Could somebody shut that window? The sun is burning my eyes. The room went black. Bad idea. Yeah, I can't see anything. Maybe the food, w food would taste better if we can't see it. What's that crunching sound? Somebody turn on the lights. And when the lights went on, Thanksgiving was gone. Dog gone. Spike had devoured everything. For Vladimir, this was the last straw. You, 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 you ruined Thanksgiving. What do you mean we ruined Thanksgiving? We were only trying to help. Buddy, you can't be mad at us. We're family. Aunt Betsy was right. They were family. And if Voldemort remembered correctly, family works together. So he demanded a do-over. They cooked all day. They used whatever they could find. They made potato peeled pudding. They cooked a bread crust casserole. They baked turkey bone biscuits. They even made a batch of flea bean dip with just a touch of garlic. And that evening, with some corn dogs they found in the freezer, came out the perfect turkey. Now that's how you cook a turkey. It looks amazing. Great work, everyone. Are corn dogs made of real dog? So on the fourth Friday in November, everyone gives thanks. Even Spike was grateful in his own way. And of course, the food was to die for. The end. 
so, what part of the story did you like? If you like joining us for story time, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment below of what story you like to hear next. Good night, everyone!